Hello everyone, welcome back to Medical Coding Club. This is Chandrika. So in today's session, I'm going to discuss about the basics of HCC coding. It will be uh, very useful for the freshers who have just assigned with a HCC project or who wish to learn HCC coding. So let's begin. So firstly, we should understand what is risk adjustment. So risk adjustment refers to it's a payment and quality system used mainly by Medicare Advantage plans, ACA plans and some commercial insurer to make sure the health plans and providers are paid fairly based on how sick their patients are. OK, so here ACA refers to Affordable Care Act plans and mainly this is a methodology uh, used to determine the funding allocation to insurance okay based on how uh, how the severity of the disease or the you know that patient particular patient who have enrolled to the plan so if they have any kind of disease they'll make the cost estimation okay and also based on some other factors like demographic also okay so in simple uh, terms this insurance companies and providers get more payment for the patient who are sicker or have a chronic conditions because those patients cost more to treat. Okay, so as I said, they will, uh, you know, they'll fund or they'll determine the funding allocation based on the severity of the disease. If patient is suffering from chronic condition, then definitely that patient is costing or that patient need more funding. To get the treatment okay and then risk adjustment uses hcc coding to capture the patient's true health picture so this hcc coding what we have we will capture the particular patient conditions okay that will help for for the proper risk adjustment methodology and accurate diagnosis coding equals to accurate payment so here we will be having uh, you know certain you know risk adjustment models okay say for example if you take medicare insurance uh, the payment form will be cms uh, you know the payment will be from cms and if you choose to go with medicare plan uh, that it is a payment is from state uh, wise okay and commercial will be like it, it depends on the plan uh, what they will go with and it like the risk score level we will have the risk score level that will be based on for Medicare insurance, it is a beneficiary and uh, for other Medicaid and commercial, it based on the population. Okay. And uh, like we have many models. Okay. Some models are based on the, uh, you know, uh, tires of the severity or uh, some models are based on the chronic conditions. Okay. And some models include both acute and chronic conditions. Okay. And some models provide uh, for uh, prescription drug also and some insurance will not provide for that okay so that and all we have to take more time and we have to learn slowly okay so in this video we will just understand the overview about the risk adjustment okay so next under this risk adjustment we have the hcc methodology okay hcc coding so what this hcc coding stands for HCC stands for hierarchical condition category and as I said it's a risk adjustment model used to predict the future healthcare cost and allocate the payment fairly based on the patient health status. Okay so it, it will be we will be considering it as a predictive analysis. Okay predictive analysis. So by utilizing or by capturing these ICDs. Okay so the, the particular uh, insurance what the patient has it will be easier for them uh, to fund okay uh, to estimate uh, and then each ICD-10 CM diagnosis maps to HCC category so uh, if you have observed in your ICD-10 book uh, with certain codes you will also see the HCC symbol okay HCC in, in future videos I will show all those okay so we will be having the grouping okay so for each uh, grouping or each set of chronic conditions we will have a particular uh, number okay with where that number uh, we will consider it as mapping so that number reflect what kind of condition it is okay 
and then hcc are used mainly by medicare advantage part c plan okay this is very important so for hcc medicare advantage which is part c is responsible for the reimbursement and some commercial aca plans uh, so we will not focus on that so we will stick on to medicare part c and the goal here as we discussed to ensure the plans and providers are paid accurately for the sicker patient who require more care so example for you know you can see the uh, hcc mapping uh, example here so diabetes without complication hcc code is 19 okay same way diabetes with chronic complication uh, which is hcc 18 so if you observe here the weightage of diabetes without complication is uh, you know which refers to low weightage and the hcc 18 with with chronic complication refers to higher weight and same way chf congestive heart failure hcc code is uh, 85 okay the grouping so here what they are trying to say why it is low weight higher weight is so we have one word called uh, trumping okay so trumping we have one word called trumping so in later videos i'll explain what it is so that means whenever patient is having two condition okay in the same session we have to look for the higher severity okay higher severity one so uh, we will drop the lowest one and we will go with the highest severity okay so i'll give you one example so if you see here so they are only referring hcc 19 has a low weightage and uh, with chronic complication hcc 18 has a higher weightage okay so when patient uh, example you take uh, maybe uh, diabetes dm okay uh, diabetes mellitus due to underlining underlining condition with ketoacidosis ketoacidosis with coma okay with coma uh, like i'll just write the code okay so e08 i think e08 uh, 11 okay e08 11 and e08 21 okay so e0811 is uh, diabetes mellitus due to underlining condition with ketoacidosis with coma e0821 is uh, this is also diabetes mellitus uh, due to underlining condition with diabetic nephropathy okay diabetic nephropathy so here both are diabetic condition only okay one is underlining uh, due to underlining cause of nephropathy is there another one is ketoacidosis with coma okay patient is in coma now so that is uh, taking the more preceding okay so this e0811 particular code falls in the mapping of 17 okay e0821 it falls in uh, i think 18 uh, 18 so now uh, this 17 okay this 17 will take the preceding over 18 so that that means we say that word trumped okay so that we will drop this e0821 and we will go with e0811 alone okay same thing goes with many medical condition so that's why we have this guideline if patient has both mild and severe forms of a disease only the highest level of hcc count for the payment okay so you have to look for the highest specificity or highest severity of the particular condition okay so in in later words i'll explain what is this trumped and few with a few example so as of now just see what is hcc and how we are going to categorize them in certain groups next what are rx hccs okay this is another type another type of coding so rx refers to prescription drug okay prescription drug so here rx hcc stands for prescription drug hierarchical condition category and it is a separate risk adjustment model for part d okay so you all know that medicare insurance has four parts okay medicare part a will cover ip service medicare part b will cover outpatient service medicare part c which is responsible which is advantage plan okay so which runs under uh, medicare administrative contractors okay uh, like for hcc we use medicare part c 
whereas for prescription drug as we all know medicare part d is responsible same way here under rx hcc uh, methodology or coding part d will be uh, resp like responsible for the reimbursement okay so uh, like it means they are also paying for the medication and then it predicts the prescription drug cost instead of total medical cost certain diagnosis that require expensive medication to map the rx hcc again we will have the mapping code for rx hcc is also so we'll see the uh, example okay in upcoming videos i'll try to bring those uh, with the real software okay in my software i'll try to show and then example if you see here aids or hiv which will be managed by antiretroviral drug okay which are quite expensive and again arthritis so again it is also the medication uh, will be costing more for arthritis condition as well uh, and then as we discussed hcc for medicare part c okay and hcc will give risk adjustment for overall medical care cost whereas rx hcc is for risk adjustment of drug cost okay and medicare part d plan will be responsible for the reimbursement okay so this is just a general overview and how does it work so as you know coders will review the documentation okay and uh, uh, that is a provider duty to must fully document the chronic conditions okay whatever that patient is suffering from everything should be listed in the uh, hcc documentation or the medical record and we have to code very accurately okay we have so many coding guidelines associated with the uh, hcc then we will see that in later part and we should also uh, calculate the rfa score okay so that is rfa refers to a risk adjustment factor okay and we have the tool also okay so with the tool i can show some example and uh, payment adjust so plans are paid more for high risk patient ensuring the funds of their care so we have many methodologies also okay so we have cms uh, payment model we have uh, one more hcc uh, payment model okay so we have various payment models that and all we have to discuss in the future videos so as of now in this video i just wanted to brief out what is risk adjustment under risk adjustment we have the hcc and rx hcc what is the difference between them okay and just it's a general overview and it is only focusing on for beginners okay so you cannot fully understand what i'm trying to say now okay but in upcoming videos if i try to capture all the uh, basic terminologies like what is meat what is soap okay what is stamper and we have many things okay step by step i'll try to cover okay only if it is working okay only if i feel like okay people are uh, watching my video i mean uh, it is helpful for some people okay then i can uh, spend some time and i can do it okay and many have suggested me that you are doing one hour video uh, like we nobody will have such patience to watch one hour video so try to make it simple like keep it uh, less than 10 minutes or less than 15 minutes so that i am thinking uh, let me explain step by step so in today's video i'll just cover uh, the basic and in uh, another video for another 10 or 15 minutes i'll explain other concept okay likewise we will go so yes that's all for today uh, thank you all for watching and please do subscribe to my channel and please do share with your medical coding friends